Hey folks, welcome to Watson's Wagons. Today we're working on M37 bud rims. Okay, these things have locking rings on them. They're not like a traditional split rim uh, that people panic about. So how I ended up with six of these bad boys, I don't know, but I have six and so why not have a spare? Um, anyhow, uh, what did I do? Let me turn the camera around. So the first thing I did was I took these rims and locking rings to the blaster. I had them blasted and they did a really good job on uh, getting all the rust out of there. But just as extra insurance, I uh, went ahead and sprayed all these rims with Osfo. And that is a great treatment um, to put on here because it'll get into all the nooks and crannies and soak into the metal and basically convert any rust that you can't see um, in there. So what happened is I let these rims dry for 24 hours and you can see where there's some, some bubbling, all right? And that is, I, I, maybe I had too much material on there or whatever, but you'll notice that it turns into a dust and brushes right off and you've got a nice, nice finish. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I got to this point. I got one rim that's primed and she looks pretty good. That's better than what it was when it came off the truck, I can tell you that much. Um, I know there are some concerns here. Um, on some, there, there was a gentleman that posted a, uh, a uh, picture of where a rim had failed, and basically a whole section of this busted out and the inner tube came out in this direction. So. Uh, probably going to take a micrometer to this and just measure some thicknesses and see what's going on. Um, you know, I didn't, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Maybe that'll be the spare tire. But not all the rims look like that. And maybe some of you can chime in as to whether or not it would benefit me to sand this down and maybe put a nice skim coat of JV Weld if that would even be a, a thing to do. Um, just to give a little more surface there but I don't know we'll see what happens but the rim looks good and um, I'm going to show you how I got there so I got a table out here uh, I've got the rims sitting in there they've been drying for 24 hours after they got the osfo treatment I got a bucket of water I've got an air gun and they disappeared <laughs> Got some acetone, a rag, and I'm missing. Oh, here they are. They're laying out in the freaking driveway. Just some scratch pads. Ah. All right, these are good for knocking off the uh, knocking off the, uh, the, the remaining remnants of the Osfo. So let's get to it. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to take this uh, red pad and gonna rub it and you'll see that the uh, the dust or whatever comes off pretty good and uh, there's a nice nice coating of material in there reach to the inside do the same thing <laughs> sorry about the camera I don't have to try that Now, I'm not going to do the whole freaking rim. Waste your time. But you get the point, all right? So give it a... Give it a little rub in air hose. And I just dampened a rag with acetone. Make sure there's no oils or anything on there. And that's all I did to prep the surface. Okay, let it dry, prime it, and then let this. I'm gonna let this primer dry for 24 hours before I even screw with it. Um, I don't want to put a coat of paint on there yet. 
So that's it. But I will scratch that, and give it a little bit of a little bit of a bite with something fine, and then uh, put my green on there. As far as the locking rings are concerned, you'll notice that these are they got a white film on them, and that's because when I treated them, I had too much osfo on there, and so it never dried. So let me go grab a ring and show you what I did. This is not a good example, unfortunately, because I, I went ahead and took care of the ones that were in the worst shape. But you can see where there's some smooth lining here. That's where some osfo had puddled and didn't dry completely. And so it left me with sort of a ripply effect. Uh, it was still tacky to the touch. Um, there's a little bit right there that I could still work on. But I took this water. Oops. Just got me a rag. And I went in. Well, there's some, there's some, there's some heavier stuff there. Okay. And I cleaned it real good. I also made sure that the uh, that we got a nice groove right here to ride up under here. I'm gonna make sure those areas are nice and clean. Okay. Took care of that. So not much to it folks, but I'm going to get busy and get to it. There's actually some good examples in here you probably won't be able to see and get the lighting right, but there's some ripples in here where it didn't 100% dry. So I am just going to give it a good rub. You gotta remember, man, these, these things were pretty uh, pretty rough shape when they came off the truck. The OSFO gives me a nice barrier, right? And since I'm not leaving the rim out here to soak and get rusty again, it'll be dry right away. It is a little bit stinky though. I just realized the sun's in the way. <laughs> yeah. The future is so bright, my friends. You gotta wear shades. All right. We'll let this dude dry. Well, it's hot as hell out here, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do all this in one piece. I'm gonna take a break and then come out, and I got a couple more sitting on the table. That's it, though. That's how I'm getting it done, and um, you know, get out there and work on something. Take it easy, folks.